sponsor.playlists101.co.uk for t-shirts. Eiffel Tower. Who built the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower was built from 1887 to 1889 by French engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company specialized in building metal frameworks and structures. Gustave Eiffel's company, that was located in levallois Paray, very near Paris, France, also built the metal framework for another world-famous monument, the Statue of Liberty. What kind of metal is the Eiffel Tower made of? The Eiffel Tower is made of iron, not steel. The puddle iron that makes up the Eiffel Tower's structure came from the Pompey Forges, east of France. The iron plates and beams produced through the puddling process were then pre-assembled in the Eiffel factories in levallois Paray using rivets. Finally, these pieces were taken to the Eiffel Tower construction site to be mounted. The prefab system is what allowed them to build the Eiffel Tower in a record time of two years, two months and five days. What is puddle iron? The iron used to build the Eiffel Tower went through a refining process called puddling which eliminated the excess carbon when the ore was melted. Following this process, you obtain almost pure iron, which was, according to Gustav Eiffel at that time, the best and most robust of materials. To protect it from corrosion, the iron is covered with a thick coat of paint that has to be renewed every seven years. Why was the Eiffel Tower built? The Eiffel Tower was built to be one of the main attractions at the Paris World's Fair in 1889. First called the 300-meter tower, it soon took the name of the man who built it, Gustav Eiffel. The tower opened to the public the same day as the World's Fair, on May 15, 1889. What does the Eiffel Tower represent for French people? For 130 years, the Eiffel Tower, a symbol of the city of Paris. Rising to a height of 330 meters, it can be seen from all over Paris, and beyond, day and night until 1 a.m. thanks to its lighting, the twinkling illumination at fixed times and its beacon that reaches out to 80 kilometers, at 360 degrees. The tower's destiny is also intimately linked to technical advancements in radio and television. The TDF installations and emitters at its summit broadcast all the digital terrestrial television and radio channels to the 12 million inhabitants of Ile de France. Today, the Eiffel Tower's lights are turned off at night to honor the victims of dramatic events around the world. Why is the Eiffel Tower shaped like the A letter? It was two engineers who worked in Gustav Eiffel's company who, in 1884, imagined building a metal tower 300 meters high for the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. It was only natural that the first sketch of the 300 meter tower, issued from the calculations made by these two engineers, shows a pylon with four legs, each made of four robust beams linked together by open web joists that rise diagonally to meet at the summit. How many days did it take to build the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower was built in record time, two years, two months and five days. From late January 1887 to March 31, 1889. What does Eiffel Tower mean? The Eiffel Tower took the name of its creator, Gustav Eiffel. 19th century French entrepreneur and engineer who specialized in building large scale metal structures, bridges, train stations, viaducts. How many people visit the Eiffel Tower every year? A little over 6 million people climb the Eiffel Tower every year. The Eiffel Tower is open every day, and even at night, from 9 30 a.m. to 11 45 p.m., and in summer from 9 a.m. to 12 45 a.m. How many floors does the Eiffel Tower have? The tower has three floors that are open to the public. The first floor, second floor and summit. The second floor has two levels, as does the summit, an enclosed lower level, and an open air level above. Our visitors can reach the first two floors either by the stairs or by elevator. The ascension from the second floor to the summit is only possible by elevator. What is the Eiffel Tower's weight in tons? The Eiffel Tower weighs approximately 10,100 tons. The metal framework alone weighs 7,300 tons while the paint that protects the structure, only, weighs 60 tons. Thanks for watching.